Hey there, let's make Afrobeat Jitter type beat in FS Studio. If you are ready, hit the subscribe button and let's get it started. I'll be using drums from the Control Groove Drum Loop Kit, which contains more than 50 loops and stems, featuring the percussion, rim shots, snare loops, kick loops, and so on. So let me just preview one or two drums from the Control Groove Drum Loop and I'll select the drum loop I'll be using for this tutorial. I think I love this. Yeah, this sounds more like the kind of bounce I want for this tutorial. So what I will just do, I would like to reduce the tempo a bit. I will reduce the tempo a bit to 95. So all I'm doing, just go to the tempo, type in value and I'll type 95. Now we have 95 BPM. This particular loop has its stems, so it is easier for me to work with the stems. Download drum loop key 10. So that's what I'm doing, loop key 10. Then I'll drag all the wave stems all together. And we have everything in our playlist. So let's play together. It's sounding very very clean and very very neat as you can hear it so this is a very very good drum loop kit now i'll be starting with my chord progression and i'll be using a jitter from ample jitter to layer my chord progression so all i just need to do i just make sure that it is in keyboard mode and i'll start mapping my chord progression so let me drop a pattern into the playlist i'll just drop this pattern into the playlist i can open this piano row locate the jitter i'll be using then i want to be on the key of b flat so all i just want to have this chord progression in my head six three two one six three two one so that's all i'll be doing for this chord progression so let's layer our chord progression into our piano row Then for this one to be it will be two. So that is just the chord. Then I can make it more fuller then strum it i can drop this down to the lower octave i can remove this remove the second note and we can have something like this so i can decide to strum it by using alternate s then we have something like this can bring down the notes using octanate x just to bring down the velocity so now we have our chord progression very simple as abc so i can just paste this all through so one thing about making this type of alpha beat is that you don't do too much with your melodies don't do too much with your melodies so that you can give space for the artist to sing properly so now all i want to do now i would like to have an electric bass on this then add other melodies so i'll be using this preset from yamaha s950 library from contact so this is the bass i'll be using let me start layering the bass line let's open the piano roll
just as simple as this we have our baseline now i can proceed to add more melodies to make it more full and to make it more rhythmic so i have ample jitter as well again so i have this preset i saved myself i name it afro jitter so i'll be using this preset add some jitter fuse to the chord and the bass line we have Just like this, we have a jitter feel. Let me paste this all to the four bar. And now we have our jitter feel. So the next thing I want to do now is just to add a muted jitter to this to give it a bit of rhythm. You give it that to rhythm and a bit of groove. So I have this jitter from Penthouse, a contact library, and this is how it sounds. So this is what I'll be using to layer our mute jitter. So I'll just add a piano, a new piano roll. So this is all I all I want to have. And we have our multi jitter to be like this. So it's sounding nice. We can add more melody. I feel like we had an ambient chord just to fill up space. So for this, all I want to do is to use this sound from Citrus. All I want to do here is just to copy the chord progression and paste into a new pattern. So I'm, I'll just come to this pattern now, the piano and paste here. Make sure you are on the first grid, then I'll quantize this and I can as well chop the note so that it will not be too long. Yeah. sounding very very great and it is filling up the space and sounding full already and like i said don't do too much with your melodies don't do too much with your melodies so i have this sound preset from Zenology called psycho ep and i'll be using this ep to add a layered call to what we have already so all i'm going to do is just to open the piano roll and add a beautiful chord progression And we have a very good sounding chord layer and I can use this even in the intro to start the beat.
right this is sounding great for me and i think we have a very very beautiful melodies and bass line that an artist can sing properly on so all i want to do now is just to go and arrange the whole beat arrange the intro then arrange my verses my hook and the chorus then i'll be back to preview everything i have added on the beats i'll be back to preview them with you guys and we have our final arrangement of the beat from the intro to the verse to the hook and to the chorus and this is how everything sound but before i play everything so i'd like to show you the few things i added some ambient sound i added during the intro during the verses and the chorus of the song so for the intro we have this chord going in and a little bit of the rim shot and the percussion then i added this ambient sound i also had this then i bounce it to hold you this is how it sound so more ambient sound was added in the intro to make it very very interesting your intro should sound very very interesting and catchy then i added this lead synth as well i have this as well going on under it And this common row transition was added and some risers so the intro all together sounded this way this is the intro let me play the intro Have our first verse then we have the hook And this is how to make a perfect Afrobeat guitar type beat in FS Studio. And I hope this video has been very helpful to you. If you have learned one or two things today, kindly hit the like and subscribe button for more tricks and for more tutorial. And as I sign out, I'll be previewing the full beat with you. Yeah.